let's get to my favorite part, the Q&A of the day. But uh, get out of here if you got to get out of here. Let me stop this banner. Oh, hey. I smoked all my crypto. Let's be honest. That Sometimes that actually would have been a better, uh, better thing to do. Uh, let's see. Vicky, my man. Not financial, legal, tax advice. Channels for entertainment purposes only. Dan is okay, but not expert in financial. These are Dan's opinions. Do your own Dan research. The reality is okay. Yeah, pate pato. It, it is okay. I, I don't, like people look at this and first of all, you have to understand, we're going to see some more pain as far as the price action, but nothing's, it's not going to zero, folks. It's not. We I lived through the dot-com era and that was supposed to go to zero. And of course, if you listen to Krugman, uh, he said, who I believe won a Nobel Prize for economics, uh, who said that uh, the internet uh, would uh, wither away and die. And of course, all the all the sites were worthless and we don't need them. Oh, here we are. So uh, let's see. Eric's got a clickbait is personally defined. True titles are what to aim for regardless of how they are perceived. Assets. Uh, thank you. Debatable, but I'll take it. I'll take take the compliment. Huh. Rob, what do you make of the drama between Simon, Zach, and Alex on Twitter? I want to trust that Simon is a resident, but it's hard to trust anyone in this current environment. It's true. So I did a tweet yesterday. And I ask because Twitter spaces is like the big, the new big thing. Everybody seems to want to pile into and talk about and, and uh, get all their great information. But some of these Twitter spaces, all it is is, um, is just a bunch of people talking forever about their opinions and not much facts. And I asked that question here specifically. I said, can someone catch me up? Because, I mean, some of these Twitter spaces are 10 plus hours. And a lot of people said the same thing. Uh, it's too much. A minute long would be appreciated. All they do is talk over each other. Everyone thinks they're a subject matter expert. Someone put, <laughs> Aaron says it's absurd. Uh, let's see. FTX updates. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, well, in Cardano, mainly just rug pulls, Ardano and Orbit. Yeah, I understood that, that one. John GB sums it up quite nicely. That's pretty much it. So, the thing is, uh, what's going on here is I just sit in the background and wait for things, wait, wait for the dust to settle and go from there. I like, I really like uh, Simon's plan so far. Of course, the more that you look into it, people will say, no, that's not what we want to do because, you know, we're Celsius and we think we have the answer. We're going to do Bitcoin mining, even though we showed that uh, their Bitcoin mining operation is in the negative by $8 million a couple of days ago. And of course, I mean, we talk, We took a look at the mining operation. I don't think it's going to work. So uh, I don't trust Celsius. So I'll go with uh, Simon uh, because let's be honest, his track record's a hell of a lot better. And we'll go from there. Could that be wrong? Could be wrong. That's just what I'm going to do. Let's see. <laughs> J2 Day. What's the good news? The good news is that really if you take a look at it, like, you, you already know what's going to happen, right? The only thing that, that's truly scary is the uncertainty. Does anybody think that we're going to hit new all-time highs this year and that we're going to start to make, have a major uh, bull run going into 2023? Does anybody think that really truly think that? Or do we all just kind of know, just nod our heads and go, yeah, the price action is going to suck. And of course, the crypto products that are actually good and do things and have real utility are going to grow. And they're going to absorb the other ones that uh, don't really do too much. And that's it. Prices will go down. So, of course, you can take that any way you want to. Some people say, I'm going to accumulate. Some people say, I'm not going to do anything. Some people say, I'm going to sell. doesn't matter. For me personally, I just look at it and go, well, and we talked about this yesterday in the video, in the clickbait title, that's right, that uh, you can not be here and you can not DCA. But sometimes for me, I look at it and go, well, it would behoove me because I don't know where the bottom is and no one knows either. So for me, I think it's, it's the good news. If I just can stick it out for the time horizon of three, four, five, six years, probably do pretty well. I'm not going to do well next year, though. I'm not going to do well towards the end of this year, and I accept that. That's it. Aaron says, you looked in the ergo. No, but I need to. Uh, I need to do a lot of things. I'm just falling behind. Like today, I need to go and um, we have new doors installed, the condo, and I need to go do the painting 
because we have people checking in in like five days and I haven't done anything. <laughs> Beardy, one used gym sucks. Uh, that's true. Crypto Esquire says, you forgot the upside down question mark. See, it was in Spanish. I should have. Ren is in trouble because of Alameda. Everything's in trouble because of FTX and Alameda and the contagion. I don't think it's, but you're right. It's very true. Vicky the Link Bickford. That's a good one. Hello, Tesla. Hello, Rusty Bot. Hello, Matan. John Color says next year is going to be worse than I think. Now that's that could be right, actually. Here's the question, though: Could you could you could you absorb that? Because next year will be a recession, I think. And if we're in a recession, and then the unemployment rate starts to rise, then people start losing jobs. Can you get through that? Can you get through that now? That would be the big question. I think next year is going to suck. Ah, Phantom coming back strong. I uh, like Simon. <laughs> I have seven dollars of BlockFi. Yeah, I put in, I put in like twenty five bucks because BlockFi they came and they said, "Hey, would you like to uh, talk about us?" I was like, "I don't even know what you guys are." And they go, "We're." BlockFi. So I said, well, let me see how, how it works. I put 25 bucks in, I think a year or so ago. And uh, I just didn't like the whole process. So I just stopped and I left the money there. So I lost 25 bucks. I'm okay. Uh, Vigente says, Rob, I staked the dot on Ledger, picked up a few dollars more than a week, but still says inactive. So you later. So when you're staking dots, some there's a minimum requirement. And I think it's over a hundred and correct me if I'm wrong here. I want to say it's 197 dot you have to now stake. And the and it just keeps going up, it seems like. I don't know why, but that's what it is. Uh Tesla's on a recession. I have to agree. There are plenty. <laughs> There's plenty of jobs at Twitter. Look, there's jobs everywhere. There's jobs galore. It's just who wants to work those jobs. I mean, when I was younger, I, I worked a lot of jobs. And that's it. Pate Pato says, all my friends who have been into crypto never read a white paper, not even Bitcoins. Now they all gave up on crypto. I'm still here. The crazy they call me, oh, dear future. And that's another thing. If you haven't read the Bitcoin white paper, it would behoove you. We did this on the channel a couple of weeks ago. It's nine pages long. It's very simple. And uh, when you read that, you tell me what Bitcoin is supposed to be as opposed to what people say it is and what it can only do. Uh, it's an interesting thought experiment. I'm curious about the Arculus wallet. Any thoughts? I don't use it, so I can't tell you. Uh, I just use a ledger. That's it. I just want to ask a question. Anyone else having problems sending near from Coinbase? Probably no problem. And all of the coins, no problem getting up. I just moved some things uh, this morning because I buy in Coinbase. I move into my ledger and then I'm safe. Uh, I haven't, didn't have a problem this morning, but things change. Rob, you will do well this year and next year. You can have family and friends, have enough to live on. That's pretty much it. I'm above the ground. I'm healthy for now. And uh, I mean, look, living in a pretty nice area or nice uh, climate. So I'm pretty happy. Some people hate this climate. I personally enjoy it exponentially. Holy smokes. Vicky says, I lost silver in the 80s when the American Board of Trade went bankrupt. Less than learned at 15 years old. Interesting. And that's the thing about precious metals. You can custody them yourself, but you have to have them delivered. My brother does that. Seems to love it, but uh, it's a lot easier to self-custody crypto. <sighs> Norman says, are we really going to 14K? I'm not so sure. Maybe. I'm not sure either, but uh, it's not looking tremendously fantastic. Ah, great question. Brandon plays drums. What's your view on taking a loss for capital gains tax purposes and then re-entering? I think uh, I've done it before. Did it with XRP. It's called wash trading. Apparently, it's illegal in equities because those are registered securities, right? Stocks. But since we don't have clear guidance, thank you, Gary, that means that we don't know what crypto is. Is it a security? Is it a commodity? Is it a currency? Nobody really knows. So I sold all my XRP right after the uh, 
the lawsuit. I took a major loss. But I just bought it back. I didn't buy everything, but I bought a good amount back in because I'm like, well, I'll just lock in these rates and uh, you get to keep some enormous losses. On the flip side, if XRP wins the case and they go up and it goes to $1,000, then of course I'll be happily to pay the uh, the capital gains, but I got to keep those losses and that's what's it. And then also, if everybody's curious, uh, I'm partnering up with um, Coin Ledger, which is a tax software company uh, specializing in crypto and digital assets. And uh, we're going to do a series of information videos. We're going to have a registered CPA, CPAs, plural, who specialize in cryptos and digital assets to be on the show. And we're going to just sit here and ask, answer all your questions. So we'll do an education series of videos to show you how easy it is. You can ask the question that you want to to the CPAs. They're going to give you their information and off you go. So if you're scared about uh, taxes, don't be. We're going to make it simple, as simple as possible. Uh, okay. Ah, thank you. I can move other coins off Coinbase. I've moved near a few times, but for the last three days and nine attempts, there's an error message with near. Near, I just uh, stick it in my in the near wallet, and then I secure it with my ledger, and I stake it. It's very simple. I, I have a video somewhere. I don't know if I did it though. Yeah, I don't blame him. I'm scared to death of taxes too. Uh, Bobby shouts. We'd love to see that. Yeah. <laughs> Jared says, it annoys me that BlockFi didn't pay their last credit card reward. Totally understandable. Yeah. I mean, if you go bankrupt, you're like, sorry. Uh, hey, Dig. Is pooling dot safe? I did a video. Let me show you. It's safe because you control your, your keys. And that's the big thing. So this is Dan Teaches Crypto. It's free. It's always will be free. If you go to module five, how do I? How do I use a MetaMask wallet? How do you simple swap? How do I up to the firmware for my nano ledger? How do I do my taxes? And this is where it gets to staking Theta, staking Cardano, staking Avalanche, staking Polkadot. That's the one you need right there. And then... Uh, how to stake Atom or Cosmos. And the near protocol one, I should have done the editing already. I just didn't do it yet. But it's very simple. And of course, you retain your private keys. And that's that's the big thing. Mm, coin ledger question. Uh, coin ledger question. Is there a risk linking via API? There's always some risk, but if it's um, if it's read only, and they, they tell you very specifically, if you don't click on read only, meaning that it can only read the data, it can't write the data, I am not uh, the person to, to say that I know definitively everything that has to go on with like read and write data. But as I have been told, if you can only give access to read data, means they can only read the actual transaction that you have in those exchanges to pull the data in. Now, if it's read and write, means that they can change certain things, but they have a fail safe that if you even do that, it won't accept it and it'll kick you out. That's it. Yeah, you know, Theo, someone asked me yesterday, they go, Rob, you look kind of burnt out on crypto. I'll be honest with you. Sometimes I do get burnt out. Like yesterday, I just wasn't really feeling it. And like, I was looking for some things to talk about and you know, just because there's interesting things I'm like, damn, there's nothing really interesting. So I did that thing about DCA but I still have a little bit of low energy, but it's just like investing, right? Sometimes you don't want to do it. Sometimes you don't want to deal with it. Sometimes you don't want to do taxes. Sometimes you don't want to just deal with anything. But my philosophy is this. I've always been successful just to be able just to show up and grind people down. And it's not, or just to grind away, I guess. You just show up, keep doing the same thing. It's like in the army, you just show up with the right uniform. You usually get uh, promoted. The same thing here. Like, not every day am I going to be super high energy. I'm like, this is fantastic. It is. It's 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 a slog. But I hope that if you see this, then you can say, well, you know, Rob's here. I'll show up and I'll learn some things and maybe I'll find a catch a glimmer of uh, info that I can use for my portfolio or my strategy. And that's what it's all about, right? I mean, of course, you're going to have a ton of energy when the bull market comes. Like, I'm a genius. I can't do anything wrong. But that's not where all the money's made. That's not where all the profits come from. And that's it. That's why I show up every day. 
improve yourself and improve those around you. That's pretty much it. And admit when you make mistakes, like I've done many a time. <laughs> yes, Pei, this is my kid. Let's see. Uh, just kidding, he's not. Great con, thanks for showing up. That's it. When the, yeah, when the hype is over, you can tell who's honest. But you know, sometimes it doesn't even matter who's honest. Sometimes it just depends on the the greater showman. There's people who, you know, love the, there's a there's a reason why the Kardashians have a massive, massive global following because they're entertaining. It's not like they have massive utility. It's just it's just how it is. Uh, good days, bad days. That's right. Oh, Beardy. Rob, what's the exact top for Bitcoin two cycles from now? It's a great question, Beardy. So we're talking about the, the two four-year cycles. So yeah, three, four, seven. So in 2033, in the next bull run, I predict that Bitcoin will be somewhere between $10 and $10 million. I can guarantee it. Mark it. Mark it. Yeah. James Dean, I've re 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 reduced DCA by 75% in the past couple of months, but still like to stay in the game. Yeah, me too. There's some I buy every day, Bitcoin. There's some that I buy every week, mostly the alts. And I've shifted that away. The only thing I buy every day is Bitcoin. Oh, man. Have you seen Guy? Guy looks burnt out because he's getting burnt. He's in Abu Dhabi, or I think, yeah, or UAB, United Arab, United Arab Emirates. I was... I always chuckle because when we had this discussion, he's like, how do you, how do you guys do it? You know, for the heat. Cause I live in El Paso. And I said, it's just, you either love it or you hate it. And guys from London. So it's just <laughs> miserable. Some days ah, that'll be okay. Uh, where do you store your ADA? It's a great question. So it's in my Daedalus wallet, which is uh, also secured with my ledger. I love, I love the Daedalus wallet. People, some people hate it cause it takes so long, but I know it's secured. I'm running things in the background. I just will do that. Bill Bones with the Avogachi. I destroyed the like. Link staking camp. Oh, that's going to be huge. I, I thought we could stake it already. I guess not. Oh, yeah. Kim's got utility. It's funny. <laughs> the best thing in the band was a free jerky membership, unless you're beardy. Hey, you know what we should do? We should give away some uh, some wrenches. Make some admins. Who's down? Let's do it. View on YouTube. Who wants to see Who's down? an admin? Norman, congratulations. Who have I seen a lot here? Well, Guy's been here for quite some time. Ben and Mateja, you already won. Crypto Esquire, you already won. Pickle, not yet. Guy is looking rough. <laughs> Random boxing guy, I would remember that. Let's see. Norman? Oh, you're already a moderator. Yeah. Pat, Pate Pato, I'll get you in the next one. It's a very bold prediction. You have a, you have a, you have a point. Old Bear, you already won. Crypto Esquire, you already won. Bill Bones, keep coming back. He'll be there soon. Tesla, Beardy, Mr. Woof. Okay, Fox, I think I gave it to you. And now I see all the wrenches. Gary, I'll get you the next one. Gary LeBlanc, next time. Trinity, I don't know you that well. <laughs> There's never too many wrenches. And that's, I think that's it. Okay, Joker. Our Joker next time. Ah, oh, righty tighty. Fair enough. And let's see, what else we got? Any other questions before we take off? Dubai, Dubai hates guy. I don't think that's true. 
looks like somebody's got a case of the Mondays. Have you ever said that? No, I've never said that. Office space, classic. Uh, okay. Tika von, von Rensburg says, Rob, I have friends who invest 10 bucks a month with me on ETH or Bitcoin. Moving ETH or Bitcoin to a safe wallet costs too much. What do you suggest? Well, the thing is like this, what with this? It depends. Like uh, there is a fee, of course. Uh, however, the, there's either a fee of a, of a good amount or 100%. So if you're investing 10 bucks a month, Maybe you could think about leaving it there for, I don't know, two or three months. And if you lose 30 bucks, if that kills you to lose 30 bucks, I don't think you should be investing in the crypto. That's just me. If I needed 30 bucks to survive, I am not going to put it into crypto. I'm going to put it into food. I'm going to put it into my electricity bill, all such of things. So that's what I recommend. Uh, don't invest more than you can afford to lose. And if 30 bucks is too much, and that's and 10 bucks a month, don't. Do it. Crazy man, always bad. It's not always bad. It's all you look at it, really. Uh, for the, where'd it go? Robert says, do you still keep any crypto in a crypto Roth IRA? Yes, I do. Uh, it is called iTrust. And it's it does go against my principles of not controlling, really, because you want to control your, your uh, your private keys. So with them, again, if I, for some, and we talked about this to, uh, to great detail about the commingling of funds. They don't do that. They don't have loans, but can you trust anybody? Who knows? And then with that one, I say, I'm just gonna let it ride. I've been using, doing it for two years. If things go down, at least with Coinbase custody. Look, if Coinbase custody goes down, that's where they keep your crypto. Guess who else is going down? MicroStrategy. All their crypto is gone. If you think Sailor and MicroStrategy, if they go down, if you think the worst thing that uh, you lost your Roth IRA, which you can't, you can only max out six to $7,000 per year anyhow. So if that's too much, don't do it. Second of all, if Coinbase custody goes down, that means that MicroStrategy goes down, Sailor goes down, everybody goes down. I think now you're going to see the market go way below uh, a 10K Bitcoin, just saying. And uh, that's it. There's also another option. You have to take a look at it, though. It would be to, this is what uh, Dr. Payne does. He does it in a trust. And to do a trust for your, for your retirement account, you have to hire lawyers. There's some documentation to do, a lot of filings, and it gets kind of pricey. So if you want to go that route, you can control your ledger or your private keys. But there's a lot more steps involved now. And I haven't done that, so I can't speak to it. I just know that it does exist. That's all. And I don't even know if it's if you can do that state to state. I'm not for sure. So I've never done it. I just make things easy. Go to iTrust. There's not even a monthly fee anymore. Yeah, if aliens land. And that's also true. There's no golden parachutes. Mm, yeah. Anders Bengston. I think I hope I said it right. I'm following my same strategy that I had in 2018, 2019, same as mine. I was DCing all the time. It was not fun. It sucks. It feels like you're just throwing your money away sometimes. But starting out DCA was great. So now I have funds to repeat. And then we get to do the fun things, which is like in the bear, in the bull market, go, hey, I've got a lot of options. Hopefully and thankfully, I have a plan that I created to sell. That's it. All right, buddy. <laughs> it's me. It's okay. All right, buddy, so that's it for today. So look, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. We do this stuff every single day. And I know that the that the news isn't the, the happiest in things, but there's there's always a different side to the same stories. Take a look at it. I'm not here to give you hopium. I'm not here to you know crush you and, and uh, dash your dreams. I'm just here to give you a reality and a secondary look of what's happening. And that's it. So that's it for today. Thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Adios. Have a good day.